In terms of the projections of uh, the margin of the win for Ramaphosa, is that good enough for him to get his reform agenda through? I think it is, but only just. Um, he's in the middle of the range of what analysts expect, so anything between 54 and 61 percent. The last projection we saw was actually about 57.7. I think he's about 57.2 at the moment. And the votes that will come in, in the remainder of the day will probably favor the ANC. So it does give him a pretty strong mandate. It is a fall from 2014, but that was expected, um, given the really poor performance of the, uh, the ANC in municipal elections two years ago, where they got 54%, and the fact that they've had to deal with the bad publicity of uh, the rule of Jacob Zuma for nine years, which has really lost them a lot of supporters. So we can expect big changes after the election, and um, I think that most analysts will see this as a strong enough mandate for him to implement what he wants to do. Mm, so you talk about big changes after the elections. Talk us through what the next steps are then for the economy. All right. Well, the first thing we would expect to see is him cleaning out the cabinet, uh, appointing his own cabinet, really. Currently, he's made a few changes, but um, there are still a lot of Jacob Zuma's allies in the cabinet. And there's definitely what analysts would see as a lack of competence. A lot of people there for political reasons and not for competence reasons. So that's his first big test. If he can get his own people in there, tried and tested people with integrity and a lot of competence in their actual portfolios. That's the first thing. Um, I would say the next big thing he has to do is try and sort out ESCOM, which is a state power company, more than $30 billion in debt, massively overstaffed. He has started to talk to, talk to the unions, but those are also his allies, so it's a difficult dance for him. And he's got to come to some conclusion where they can make the company a bit more sustainable and uh, into a situation where it's not going to constantly subject the country to power cuts. And beyond that, he needs to uh, act on um, the various commissions of inquiry that are going on and actually see a lot of the uh, wrongdoing that has been exposed actually translated into prison sentences and court dates.